purpose of this video is to walk you through some subtle differences between data, information, and knowledge. So these differences are critically important uh, when you're trying to figure out how to make um, something like XBRL based reporting work. So here are some definitions. I'm not going to go into these. You can read these if you want. They're provided by the European Guide to Good Practice in Knowledge Management and the references provided there. Um, so my definitions are similar to these, but I simplified them a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to work with. So I ran across this article and um, the, the, this guy is making the very important point that information is not power and data is not power. Uh, knowledge is power. And um, it's the correlation and integration uh, of information uh, that gives you knowledge and that is what is useful and this cannot be done uh, by computer-based processes so that article has this graphic and what I want to do is I want to walk you through each of these different um, sections of the this graphic to help you understand um, the differences between data, information, and knowledge, and some very important things about um, creating knowledge. So first, data is simply discrete objective facts, you know, words, numbers, uh, not in context and not interpreted. So the number 241 billion 86 million is data okay so you take that data and you arrange it a little bit and you organize it and you get information which is basically uh, data in context so for example Assets for the Consolidated Legal Entity Microsoft Corporation as of June 20th, um, 2017 was 241 billion 86 million uh, expressed in U.S. dollars rounded to the nearest uh, millions of dollars. Um, so you can use that information um, and you can exchange this information and give it to somebody else and they can use it also. If you took that number, the data, and you just exchange that without anything else, um, the person receiving it might not even know what it is. Uh, so this is the difference between data and information. Um, knowledge takes this a step further. So you see those little lines um, between the little data points? Um, the data picture shows just, you know, little circles representing just a piece of information. The information shows um, different colored circles indicating some sort of a categorization or correlation, collation of the information. You add these little lines and that represents um, providing associations between um, the pieces of information, uh, structures, models, relations, rules. Um, so that's how you get knowledge. And you can't really create that um, using automated processes. This is something that has to be done pretty much by humans at least getting initial uh, domains of information represented such as US GAAP or IFRS. You're not going to have a computer do that. Um, and so here below you see the different kinds of um, knowledge that that might represent. Uh, and you notice that that's different than just a piece of information. 
So again, I want to show here um, the difference between um, knowledge engineering and data science in knowledge creation. So at the top, you see um, a knowledge engineering approach, which is basically you have humans um, creating knowledge and they do use deductive reasoning and that is provable um, and that is based on experience and skills and context and that's how you get information and, and knowledge um, the bottom approach data science is where you use machine learning which is basically pattern recognition um, or clustering and that is probability based it's inductive reasoning it's um, and you can it's useful but it's not remotely as useful as knowledge engineering and humans creating the links between um, the pieces of data um, or pieces of information so a theory is used to prove knowledge so you can use patterns and use the models and uh, logical systems and a lot of testing and you can prove that knowledge that you have which is machine readable in re machine readable form is correct you can prove that it's correct um, in addition you can control um, the model and again prove that each uh, representation of information is correct um, you can measure it you can verify it um, that's what this is trying to show uh, con you're controlling the quality of information so for some little bonus points here uh, insight is just an observation so here you have an insight that net income loss divided by assets this is a good indicator of financial performance capabilities and then wisdom is actually applying that Microsoft Corporation is a better investment than General Motors because it has a better income to assets ratio perhaps it's just an example but anyway that's a quick down and dirty uh, differentiation between data information and knowledge with bonus information about insight and wisdom